Hello, I'm here to present the results of an effort to assess roadway contributions to stormwater flows, concentrations, and loads by using the Highway Runoff Database, HRDB, and the Stochastic Empirical Loading and Dilution Model, SELDOM. The effort to update the Highway Runoff Database was done by the USGS in cooperation with the Federal Highway Administration Office of Project Delivery and Environmental Review. In this talk, I will describe the data available in version 1.1 of the Highway Runoff Database and go through an example analysis of total phosphorus concentrations to show how the Highway Runoff Database can be used with SELDOM to assess the potential risk for adverse effects of runoff on receiving waters. The Highway Runoff Database provides representative statistics for quantifying runoff flows, concentrations, and loads. This is a schematic diagram showing the components of the stochastic mass balance analysis used by SELDOM to assess the potential effects of runoff on receiving waters. The Highway Runoff Database provides the information needed to simulate the highway runoff contribution to the receiving waters. The Highway Runoff Database can be used to obtain water quality data, water quality statistics, and runoff coefficient values. This image shows the main menu of the Highway Runoff Database that provides these options. The Federal Highway Manual for the database and the SELDOM website provide information on the design and use of the Highway Runoff Database. Version 1.1 of the Highway Runoff Database has 36 datasets, 23 states, 249 sites, 6,849 storms, and about 107,000 EMC values. This slide shows statistics for the Federal Highway Administration dataset and datasets collected from California, Florida, Hawaii, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Maryland, Maine, Michigan, and Minnesota. This slide shows statistics for datasets collected from North Carolina, Nebraska, New Hampshire, Nevada, Ohio, Oregon, South Carolina, Texas, Washington, and Wisconsin. The Federal Highway Administration dataset also contains data from four other states, Alabama, Colorado, Tennessee, and Pennsylvania, not shown in these tables. This is a map of the United States showing the location of highway runoff monitoring sites in the Federal Highway Administration, Highway Runoff Database Version 1, and the Highway Runoff Database Version 1.1 datasets. The Highway Runoff Database has a lot of data but more is needed, especially in the center of the country. The Federal Highway Administration data is geographically extensive, but methods have changed and sources continue to change. The Highway Runoff Database has 415 different water quality constituents. This graph shows the number of EMC values in the database for the top 10 constituents, which include sediment, metals, nutrients, and organic carbon. Comparison to previous versions of the Highway Runoff Database indicates that total zinc is an increasing constituent of concern, replacing copper as the most frequently measured metal constituent. The nutrients, including total phosphorus and total gel dial nitrogen, also have moved up the list of frequently measured constituents. Total organic carbon has dropped in the list, but many of the new water quality constituents are organic chemicals that commonly are not detected in highway runoff. The primary software update to the Highway Runoff Database allows the user to calculate statistics in batch mode from multiple sites. This is a screen capture showing the new form, which now appears between the Site Selection and Statistics Specification form. Our studies have shown that grouping data from non-similar sites can increase statistical variability in compared to individual sites, and therefore the simulated risk of exceeding water quality criteria. The ability to calculate statistics for many sites in batch mode can save a lot of analysis time. Here is an example showing statistics we calculated in batch mode for many sites. These graphs are box plots showing geometric mean concentrations of total suspended solids and total phosphorus on the vertical logarithmic axes. Geometric mean concentrations are discussed because highway runoff quality commonly is analyzed using the log normal distribution. Geometric means for total suspended solids range from 1.58 to about 1400 mg per liter with a median value of 42 mg per liter. In comparison, individual values of TSS from the whole highway runoff database range from 0.4 to 5440 mg per liter. 
Geometric means for the total phosphorus concentrations range from 0.017 to 2.82 mg per liter with a median value of 0.12 mg per liter. In comparison, individual values for total phosphorus from the whole highway runoff data set range from 0.004 to 22 mg per liter. Sediment concentrations in highway runoff may be affected by the erodibility of local soils. This map of the annual average riverine sediment concentrations indicates that variation in erodibility across the country may be about three orders of magnitude. The blue areas are less than 300 milligrams per liter. The green areas range up to about 2,000 milligrams per liter. The yellow areas range up to about 7,000 milligrams per liter. The orange areas range up to about 15,000 milligrams per liter. The pink areas range up to about 30,000 milligrams per liter. The purple areas range up to about 50,000 milligrams per liter, and the brown areas have an average annual concentrations that exceed 50,000 milligrams per liter of suspended sediment. This map also may be used to interpret variations in the highway runoff data set. Practitioners can compare the location of monitoring sites to these sediment concentrations to select representative sites for a given area. Total phosphorus concentrations in highway runoff may be affected by variations in local soil phosphorus. The variations in water quality may seem extreme, but there are large natural variations for many runoff quality constituents. This is a map from the USGS showing the concentrations of phosphorus in the top 5 centimeters of soil in the United States. The colors shown range from less than 200 milligrams per kilogram, which is blue, to more than 1,180 milligrams per kilogram, which is red. The color ramp is in intervals of about 100 milligrams per kilogram. Using the median sediment concentration of 42 milligrams per liter, with the range of soil phosphorus from 50 to 9,120 milligrams per kilogram, we can see that natural total phosphorus could range from 0.0021 to 0.38 milligrams per liter without variability in TSS and without any additional anthropogenic inputs. This is a graph with a log scale of average annual daily traffic on the horizontal axis and the geometric mean concentration of total suspended solids and total phosphorus concentrations on the vertical axis. The scatter of the data and the low correlation coefficients indicate that common assumptions about the effect of traffic volume on constituent concentrations may not be warranted for total suspended solids or total phosphorus concentrations, at least on the national scale. This may not be surprising based on potential variability in the national maps for sediment and phosphorus we just looked at. Because there's a lot of variability in many states, state DOTs may want to consider these factors when selecting monitoring sites and when assessing natural background concentrations. This graph shows measured and simulated total phosphorus concentrations with a log scale on the vertical axis and a probability scale on the horizontal axis. The white circles connected by green lines are the measured bridge runoff samples from a study by the USGS in cooperation with the North Carolina DOT. The yellow symbols show the results of a 29-year simulation that was done by using seldom with a minimum, median, and maximum of the bridge runoff statistics. When compared to the national data set, the maximum geometric mean of the East Bridge sites exceeded more than 95% of all stations. The minimum geometric mean exceeded about 25% of national values, and the median was about equal to the national average geometric mean. Based on the local data and national values, we concluded that it was most prudent to use the median of statistics to represent bridge runoff at unmonitored sites in North Carolina. The seldom simulations provided the information to assess the risk for exceeding various discharge criteria. Researchers at the North Carolina State University had proposed that runoff quality criteria match receiving water quality standards for different stream classifications. On this graph, the criteria for poor streams, which is 0.63 mg per liter, and the criteria for excellent streams, which is 0.06 mg per liter, are shown with the measured and simulated bridge runoff concentrations. When these criteria are compared to the commonly used EPA risk threshold for a once in three year event, none of the simulations can meet these receiving water criteria. 
However, when highway runoff quality is compared to a more appropriate discharge standard used in North Carolina, we can see that among the simulations, only the worst case scenario would exceed the discharge standard at the three-year risk threshold. These results and other seldom studies indicate that DOTs should be wary of proposals to apply receiving water criteria to discharge quality. We would like to thank the stormwater practitioners at seven DOTs and researchers at the University of Texas and six USGS science centers who facilitated compilation and inspection of the data added to the new version of the Highway Runoff Database. The seldom website https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot 5066 slash F seven B G two M thirty three has links to reports, software, the highway runoff database, and seldom version one point oh three. If you have any questions, please contact us by using links on the website.